Hello there, I'm John Oliver, host of Last Week Tonight. We are off the air this week because, to boost ratings on HBO, I plan to murder and dismember a friend of mine. <laughs> uh, apparently that's how it works now. Anyway, anyway, th this season... This season... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. What are you... What are you applauding for? What, what are you encouraging? Anyway, this season... We've covered the tobacco industry, uh, voting rights in the American territories and our country's infrastructure. But right now, I'd like to talk about a serious problem. April Fool's Day. <laughs> April Fool's Day is to comedy as St. Patrick's Day is to Irish culture. <laughs> that is to say, it is a mockery of the very concept that usually ends in a fist fight. But you may not know that April Fool's Day was actually invented by FDR in 1934 as a way to raise national morale during the Great Depression. April Fool! <laughs> That's not true at all. I made it up. You trusted me and I betrayed that trust. I betrayed you. Isn't betrayal fun? That felt bad, didn't it? Well, now, I want you to sit in that terrible feeling for a moment. Because <laughs> you may have been laughing on the outside, but on the inside, admit it, you were sad. Now, well, first of all, welcome to my brain. <laughs> Second of all, I'm sorry I did that to you. That was a prank. And pranks are terrible. Anyone who claims to be excited for April Fool's Day is probably a sociopath. <laughs> because what they're really saying is, I cannot wait to hurt the people close to me. I can't wait. And, and if you want to break your family's hearts, don't play a mean trick on them. Just ask them for money for another improv class. Do it, done. And you can do that any time of year, and you will shatter them. Now, not to mention, we don't need a special holiday to disappoint our loved ones. We do that enough on every other holiday by accident. OK, Nana, when are you going to yell Christmas fools and give me my real present? <laughs> this sweater is an abomination. But that being said, I want to help you have the best April Fool's Day ever. So close, close your eyes right now. Do it, close them, and visualise the greatest practical joke you can possibly imagine. And now, never do that thing you thought of, <laughs> ever. Don't even tell anyone you thought of it. You're a monster. In fact, in fact, let, let's do this properly. Everyone watching this, please raise your right hand and take the last week tonight no prank pledge. Repeat after me. I solemnly swear. That on this April Fool's Day, I will not post a fake engagement photo on Facebook like some kind of asshole. <laughs> Nor will I perpetuate a celebrity death hoax. Nor will I perpetuate a celebrity death hoax. Because that makes people sad. In fact, I will not play any practical jokes. And if I see someone planning a prank, I, someone planning a prank. I will say to them, hey, you're being a dick right now. Stop being a dick. <laughs> Look, we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back. Say to them, hey, hey. you're being a dick right now. Stop being a dick. Stop being a dick. Seriously, stop being a dick. Seriously, stop being a dick. Thank you very much for taking the last week tonight No Prank Pledge. Hopefully, with your support, we can restore the original meaning of April the 1st, the day we traditionally look at our calendars and think, oh, shit, I 